What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, it's time to talk about some Nintendo Direct predictions, as just today, this morning, Nintendo finally tweeted that yes, we are in fact going to be getting a Nintendo Direct that's going to be happening tomorrow at 6pm Eastern Time, as well as 3pm Pacific Time. Now you guys know my recent video I just posted a few days ago, I was talking about how it is rumored that we are going to be getting a Nintendo Direct, and the September Direct just seemed very likely, everything was pointing to it, and so here we go, Nintendo finally gave us the announcement, and now it's time to predict what we think could be shown. Now I have a list here of all my predictions for the Direct, but towards the end of this video we are going to kind of get into spoiler territory with some of the leaks that have been going around, so I'll give you guys a warning before we get into that just in case some of you guys don't want to know, but yeah, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I have here is Banjo-Kazooie coming into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So it was announced at E3 that yes, Banjo is going to be one of the fighters that's going to be in the Super Smash Bros. DLC's Fighters Pass. And the thing about Banjo is we know that he's going to be coming out in the fall, but that's about it. Like, we don't really have any information. I feel like since this is going to be just a big Nintendo event and a lot of people are going to be watching, this would be the perfect time to at least give us like a release date for when Banjo is going to be coming out. The thing about all these DLC characters though, is that Sakurai really likes to go in depth with all these characters and show us like all the different moves that they have and how you can use them and when to use them properly, and I just feel like they won't have the time to do all of this for Banjo inside of a direct. I think that there's going to be so much other stuff that they would want to talk about that they can't really just spend like 10 to 15 minutes talking about Banjo's insane moveset and all that stuff. So that's why I feel like maybe we might not get that much stuff about Banjo. Maybe what they could do is like they'll just tell us like if you want to learn more about Banjo and see like an in-depth detail about all of his moves and stuff you can pay attention to like a separate video that's going to be coming out next week or sometime later and maybe they'll just give like a release date like Banjo's coming out this day but you can learn more about him like in the future maybe they'll do something like that but i really don't think that they can just fit all that information about him inside of this direct the next thing that I have here is Dragon Quest XI, and so Dragon Quest XI is coming out on the Switch in just a few weeks, it's coming out towards the end of this month, and I feel like Nintendo is probably just going to give a little reminder that you are going to be able to get this game. In fact, there's actually a special demo for Dragon Quest XI that also came out on the Switch just a few days ago, and so if you guys haven't gotten that demo, I highly recommend you to go and download it. It's actually 10 hours of gameplay that you can get from that demo, and you are going to be able to transfer all of your data from that demo into the full game, so definitely get the demo. I mean, 10 hours of playtime is like a ridiculous amount for a game like this so it's just amazing to be able to play the game for 10 hours really get a feel if you're gonna like it and then being able to purchase the full game in just a couple weeks. Now a few days ago on Amazon, there was an Overwatch branded Nintendo Switch case that got put up, and so this was an officially licensed one by Nintendo, so it's an official one, and it got put up and a lot of people took pictures of it right away, but the listing got taken down right after, and so this kind of just makes you wonder, like, if they have an Overwatch branded official Nintendo Switch case, it kind of just makes you think like, okay, Overwatch is probably going to be coming to the Switch as well, it's, it's very likely to happen at this point, and so I feel like that's definitely going to be shown inside of this Direct. The next two things that I have here are just reminders for new games that are coming out, and that is Damon X Machina as well as the Link's Awakening remake that are both coming out on the Nintendo Switch. I really don't think that they're going to show us like a whole bunch of new information, I don't think that there's really new information to show for these games, but I think they'll just give us a quick reminder that these games are available really soon and they are going to be coming out this month. Now this next game is one that's definitely going to have some focus inside of the Direct, and that's Luigi's Mansion 3. Even in the tweet that Nintendo put out today, they did say that Luigi's Mansion 3 is going to be inside of the Direct, so I feel like for this, they're probably going to show like a new mode or something that gets people excited, one last thing that gets people excited before the game launches next month. So hopefully it's some sort of like fun multiplayer mode or just something new that a lot of people are going to get excited for. Now the next game is the second title that Nintendo said is going to be focused on inside of the Direct, and that's Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So for these games, I think the thing that people would love to see the most are the starter evolutions. Just seeing what the next evolution for all the starter Pokemon are going to be would be really awesome. But there's still a lot of other information that we just don't know about these games. They could show us some new characters maybe, like a new gym leader or something. They could show us a new Galarian form because those were revealed just a few weeks ago. Or they could just show us a whole bunch of new Gen 8 Pokemon as there's still a lot of Gen 8 Pokemon that I'm sure we don't know about yet. So I feel like for this, there's still like a lot of things that could happen. The next thing that I have here are SNES games for the Nintendo Switch Online, and I think it was just a few weeks ago that people discovered like SNES game controllers coming to the Nintendo Switch, like how they had those NES ones for the Nintendo Switch when Online came out, as well as like I think people even data mined through like the emulator and found evidence that SNES games could be coming. So I feel like that it would just make a lot of sense to have SNES games definitely just add some more uh, variety to the retro games, so hopefully we get that shown inside of this Direct. 
The next thing that I have here is one of Game Freak's games that we still haven't really heard anything about, and that is Town. And so Town actually got shown in the September Direct that happened last year, and we know it's a brand new game from Game Freak that's going to be coming out for the Switch, but we really haven't heard anything about it. If you guys want my best guess, I really think that this game probably got delayed because it's supposed to be coming out this year, and we haven't heard anything about it, so I really don't think that they're just going to drop a release date inside of this direct but i feel like they'll probably give us an announcement of what's happening with it maybe they're taking more time because of pokemon sword and shield or whatever the case may be they'll probably give an announcement if it got delayed or when we could expect to hear more information about it the next thing is one of my ports that I would love to have on the Switch and I've kept asking for this every single time there's a Direct so I'm going to have it in here as well and that is a Metroid Prime Trilogy port. I mean it was announced just earlier this year that Metroid Prime 4 is in fact going to be delayed so it unfortunately is going to be much longer till we can actually get our hands on that game and I really think that just releasing a Metroid Prime Trilogy would be such a right play for Nintendo to do as there's so many people that are really interested in Metroid and really haven't even played any Metroid Prime games before and I know they always comment saying like Arrow I'm seeing so many people excited about Metroid Prime. I've never gotten the chance to play the games myself and so just having the Metroid Prime trilogy coming to the Switch would be so good because so many people would get a chance to play these games, get a feel for what Metroid Prime is like and then be excited for Metroid Prime 4. So hopefully they really decide to do that. I'll definitely buy it day one if it happens. Now in the September Direct last year, Square Enix really came through by giving us a whole bunch of Final Fantasy games on the Switch, and I think it would just be amazing if they could come through this year by giving us some Kingdom Hearts games, as that's something that I know so many people would love if they got like Kingdom Hearts the story so far ported to the Switch, or just like the 1.5 collection or even the 2.5 collection, maybe not Kingdom Hearts 3 as I know that is a pretty uh, technically demanding game, like even on base PS4 it doesn't run at 60 FPS, so I, I could understand that not coming to the Switch, but at least some of the old school games, I know a lot of people will be very very happy if that did turn out to be the case. The next thing that I have here are just some Wii U ports that could happen. I mean, we really got a lot of the big Wii U games on the Switch already, but there are a few that are missing. So ones that could happen are Super Mario 3D World, just like another fun 3D Mario adventure because we haven't had a 3D Mario game since Super Mario Odyssey, so maybe we could get that. It would be a pretty simple port for them to do. The Wonderful 101 is a game that a lot of people love that still has yet to be ported, so that could happen. And there are some people that I know always ask for Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I'm personally, like, I haven't really played the game, so I don't know anything about it, but I do see a lot of people asking for for that so maybe they could do a port of that. Now the next thing that I have here is personally one of the things that I'm the most excited for and that's the fact that we could in fact be getting Monolith Soft's next new game announcement inside of this direct. Now one of the head developers at Monolith Soft is Tetsuya Takahashi and his wife has a Twitter account who always retweets a lot of things but whenever there's Nintendo Direct announcements she only really retweets them if there's Monolith Soft announcements that are going to be inside of these Directs. Like whether it's going to be in regards to Xenoblade or like other Monolith Soft games. Usually whenever there's anything with Monolith Soft inside of a Direct that's when she retweets them. She doesn't retweet Directs when they're going to be just like normal game announcements with other games. It's really whenever there's just Monolith stuff that she's going to retweet them. And the thing that everybody's flipping out over right now is the fact that she retweeted the one that's going to be happening tomorrow so a lot of people are going insane now this doesn't guarantee that there's going to be a monolith soft announcement but it does make it kind of very likely as she's really only had a history of retweeting nintendo direct announcements whenever there's monolith soft information inside of them now there's really a lot of possibilities for anything that could happen. The first one that I know a lot of people are speculating over is the fact that maybe Xenoblade Chronicles 1 or Xenoblade Chronicles X could get ported or even remastered on the Nintendo Switch as those are two games that are loved by a lot of people. And I think even next year it's going to be like the 10 year anniversary for when Xenoblade Chronicles 1 first came out in Japan so it would be the perfect time to have like a port or remaster for it on the Switch. The second one is maybe there's going to be like a Xenoblade Warriors game, as we know that there are plans for Nintendo to make more types of Warriors games. We have gotten Hyrule Warriors as well as Fire Emblem Warriors, and it would be really awesome to have Xenoblade Warriors where they could have like a whole bunch of Xenoblade characters from all the games so far and have them all incorporated into this game. So that would be really cool if we got something like that. We also know that Monolith Soft is working on a brand new IP, so maybe they could show us like a little teaser or a reveal for that. And then of course we've got the sequels that people would love to see myself included we could see like Xenoblade Chronicles X2 or like the next new Xenoblade Chronicles X sequel from what's happened in the past uh, we could also see Xenoblade Chronicles 3 that's probably the most unlikely one but seeing a teaser or just a confirmation that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is coming would just be insane so that would really be like one of the best announcements ever if we got any of those on the switch and now we are in the spoiler territory for the fourth DLC character in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. So this character hasn't been officially revealed yet, but with a lot of the leaks and hints going on right now, a lot of people do have an idea of who they think that this character could be. But if you guys don't want to be spoiled by this character, now is the time to click off this video. 
But yeah, if you're still here, then I'm going to be talking to you guys about who the character is. And so it seems like a lot of people think that the fourth DLC character is going to be a character from SNK. Now the reason people think this is that if you go on Nintendo's UK website, and you go to Smash Bros, and you go to DLC, and then you click on Fighter number 4, if you scroll down to the bottom where it shows you all the copyrights, it says copyright SNK. And so this makes a lot of people think that while we don't know exactly who the character is, it basically does confirm that the character is going to be coming from SNK, and so this is making a lot of people speculate that the character is probably going to be Terry, as Terry is like the most iconic SNK character. So I don't know if this is going to be shown inside of the direct, maybe they could like end it off with a new Smash character and it's going to be Terry. That would be a really good thing to do, I mean, they've ended DLC characters for Smash with other directs in the past, so it would be a nice way to end the direct. I mean, we already know Banjo's coming and like I mentioned earlier, they could give the release date for Banjo in the beginning of the direct and then they could end the direct with the next new character. So hopefully they decide to do that, but we'll just have to wait and see. And finally, the last thing that I have here are just like dream announcements that I would love to have, but I just don't think that they're going to be talked about. So the first one that I have is Super Mario Odyssey 2, and I just don't think that it's going to be shown in this direct. It would be a really amazing way to end it, but I feel like if it is going to be coming out soon, they'll probably wait till next year to show that. Uh, the next thing is Breath of the Wild 2. So Breath of the Wild 2 was confirmed at E3 this year. I, I just don't think that we're still going to see any information about it. Like maybe they could give like a little teaser for it or like a mini trailer for it. But I really don't think we're going to hear about that until E3 next year. The next one is Metroid Prime 4. I mean it already got confirmed that it's going to be delayed. So I don't think we're going to hear any news about that either. And then the last one is Bayonetta 3. And so Bayonetta 3 is also one that's going to be coming out soon, but I don't think we're going to hear anything about it, mainly because one of Platinum Games' biggest games just launched a few days ago, which is Astral Chain, so I think they would probably want to promote that still and not really start talking about Bayonetta 3, so I feel like for that reason we're not going to hear about Bayonetta 3 as well. And then the next one is, I mean, Animal Crossing New Horizons, but I feel like that, that actually has a chance of being shown, so we'll see. And so there you go guys, those are all my predictions for the Nintendo Direct that's going to be happening tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button, and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this. What are some of your predictions? Do you agree with some of mine? What are things that you would love to see inside of this Direct? Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Nintendo content in the future, so please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at AtroAero so you can be featured in videos, and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo, so definitely be sure to join that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.